Hi and welcome back. This is Stephanie from Simply On Demand. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've not yet done so, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you are advised, notified, told whenever I upload a new video such as this one over here. So today I want to show you a slanted grid, slanted photos that show upright. Am I making sense? Let me show you. So I clicked on um, Instagram post just, just simply because it is the easiest thing to do at this point in time. So there's our blank canvas. Now what we do, we go to the side menu over here where elements is, the elements tab is situated and we simply go down to the grid section over here. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate, uh, size it down like that, and then duplicate it like this. And I just want to make sure that it's positioned properly. It is positioned properly, or maybe not really. Let's have a look, see over there, and there, that's better. Now, I want to slant it to the side like this, but I also want to make sure that the, it they both sit full on the page like that. So as you can see, they are slanted. Um, let's see the percentage percentage that they are slanted at. Um, 34, so they are slanted at around 32%. So, and that's important. So let me tell you why. I'm just going to insert a text box here quickly, 32, just so that I'm aware of what the percentage is that they slanted at. And let me tell you why. We are now going to go to a photo and we're going to include a photo like this, all right, on the slanted grid. Now, what, what will happen is when we take the photograph and we simply uh, slide it in, it is not facing up right. The way, the way it is supposed to be like that. So the way we, we, um, we counter that is simply, instead of slanting it this way, 32 degrees like this, we slant it the other way, 32 degrees like this, drag it across and there she is upright, okay? So let's do it for this one as well. So we slant it this way um, at 32% and we just simply slide it in place. Now, the aim is to actually have it show up as one photograph, just with a simple back um, uh, gap in the middle over there. So let's just delete that 32 that we've got going over there. So what we now do is we double click on the photograph itself and we simply position it like this so that we can see that she's over both, um, both grids. Click on done, double click on this one and size it so that it fits. And this is now going to prove difficult for me. It doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Let's just do that like so, see if we can size it down a little bit just to get it to be 100% over. Because of the, the top part, it's not going to be 100%. So let's see if we take this one and just make it ever so, ever slight, ever so slightly bigger like that and position that to fit like so. And there we've got almost, 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 but not quite. Let's just get this going again. And there it looks almost perfect. Let's just fit it up to size. 
Not 100%, as you can see, there's a little bit of a, a misalignment over there, but you get the general idea of the uh, of what I've done over here. So a new page, go to your elements and insert a grid, size it down and slant it to one direction. Let's make this one uh, 25 like that. Duplicate it and position it as well. Let's just get it off the page for both like that. And now simply go to your photos and insert a photo and slant it the other way. We've got this at 25. Insert it over there. Let's make this one 25 as well. Is it now? Did it? It moved ever so slightly and insert it over there. And now you can simply just um, size up your image like that. And let's just do that. Get this moment going over there like that. And there you've got your plate 100% the way it's supposed to be. All right. And that is a slanted grid that you're going to be using to make a, to just add a different sort of um, idea for your, for your next photograph. All right. Um, or your, well, your design, <laughs> your design, not photograph. Um, and you can just add, change the background color to whichever one it is that you want to use. Let's just do some magic going over there. Okay, it's not showing us anything. I wanted to pick a color from the, um, from the photograph itself but today it, does, it doesn't want to pick it up. So you can just simply change it to a brand color or whatever the case may be that you want to, oops, that's not what I wanted to do, fit. And there you've got a slanted frame and I'm still not happy that this one is not 100% fitting. <laughs> I like things to, to be 100%, uh, that's closer, that's closer, yes much closer, much closer. All right, your slanted grid for your next design. I would love to see your designs. All the best and take care.